After over 30 years of bowling, Great Falls native John Quinby rolled his first 300 game earlier this season, and his reaction yeah. says it all. Yeah. And then as soon as that ball hit and all 10 of the pins went back, I just just lost it. I honestly started to cry a little bit. It was one of the greatest feelings I've had in my life. My kids being born, definitely better, but <laughs> um, but to finally get that first one, just it felt it just felt great. But that just broke the seal for John. He's since rolled two more 300 games this year, bringing his season and lifetime total to three. But he's not the only bowler in his family to reach perfection. John's younger brother, Steve, has also bowled three 300 games this season. To get one in September, one in October, and then to have him shoot two, and then him get his third one, and then me a week later to get my third one of the year, um, it's, it's been pretty awesome. It's not, not a lot of people can say that they've done it three times in a year, let alone two family members do it three times in a year. It's, it's pretty cool. Some people will bowl their entire lives without rolling a 300. But between the two brothers, they've done it six times in the past eight months. But it's no surprise to one veteran bowler, their father, Wayne. Yeah, I'm proud papa, I guess you could say. Because, you know, they'd, been, they'd tried so hard for a long time. There's a ton of good bowlers in Great Falls, a ton of them. And, uh, you know, to see my boys up there, and both of them are, you know, they're, they're high caliber now. They're doing something right. John and Steve have a long way to go before they reach dad's record of 11 300 games. Mostly, though, they're just glad he passed on his love of the sports. Uh, we used to actually, in our basement when we were growing up, we made a bowling lane. We uh, took some masking tape and taped out a lane in the basement. And uh, we used to use my mom's dryer as a pin setter. We'd put bowling pins in it, turn it on so it sounded like a pin setter making noise. But the Quinby legacy might add a new chapter soon. John's five-year-old daughter, Charlotte, has tried her hand at the lanes, and it might not be long before she puts up a perfect score. Yeah, maybe, maybe by the time she's 10, 11, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> the third generation is, is on, her, on her way, so it's really awesome. Tom Wiley, MTN Sports.